So today I'd like to talk about these things, which are the FPV three channel video switches from Hobby King. They're relatively inexpensive and they allow you to connect two or three cameras up to your FPV transmitter so that as you're flying, you can flick between them with your video transmitter. And I wanted to uh, just show these in action because the documentation with these is really bad, um, but they're a fantastic little bit of kit. So if we open this one, and we'll actually use this one in the demo, um, it's quite a big box, but the actual device itself is really tiny. To give, uh, give you an idea, it's kind of from tip to tip on the pins is about four centimeters, and it's about two centimeters from side to side. Um, wait for it to catch up. Uh, there's a connection on one side that goes to receiver, so that you connect that to the receiver channel that you're going to use to um, select the camera you want to have a look at. Then there's camera one and camera two pins on the top, and you can see it's very clearly labeled, plus, minus, and signal. And on the back, there is the connection for the third camera, and finally the video out that would go to your video transmitter. So if you think about this, you could actually use it quite nicely for those situations where you have two cameras on the on the plane. It might be you have one out on the wing and one that you're using for primary FPV and you can flip between the two. Or what you could do would be to have one that um, one channel connecting to the flight camera at the front of the craft and another one that's pointing down and um, maybe connected to the GoPro that's in the gimbal that's slung underneath your um, quad or hexcopter. So this would allow you to get a view of exactly what the gimbal's looking at and then flip back to the flight camera very quickly. So what we'll do is we'll actually connect this thing up and I'll show you how it works and um, help explain uh, the different bit, bits and pieces about where the channel settings need to be in order to get each of the three cameras because that isn't clear because of a lack of manual. So what we'll do is we'll connect it up to a little Fat Shark transmitter. Here's a little 25 milliwatt one that we'll use for this um, demo. Uh, we'll connect it up to uh, my FlySight diversity receiver that you've seen in other videos. That can show us the um, view that we get through the goggles of the ground station. We'll stick a receiver on here as well. This is an orange um, seven channel receiver. I'm just going to plug this into the throttle channel so that we can see exactly whereabouts as I move the throttle, it switches from one camera to another. Normally you'd get it selected to a, um, an auxiliary switch on the transmitter so you could flick it between the two or three cameras you had. And then I've got a couple of little cameras we're going to try. There's this little 120 degree uh, camera that will stick on one side. And I'll also stick one of my original trusty Fat Sharks uh, the TVL 600 on another one of the inputs so that we can have a look. So let me go away and put this all together and then we'll come back and I'll actually show you this switch working and um, just point out a couple of gotchas when you're setting it up that you have to be careful of. So here's the rig all set up. So we're running it off one of my trusty old Align 2200 milliamp hour batteries. We have that through a little UBEC running the receiver. That is then connected into the uh, receiver port on the FPV switch. Then we have two cameras. We have the little pinhole camera we were looking at before, which I actually really like, I think they're lovely. And the 600 TVL line Fat Shark camera at the top. And both of those are plugged into the port. So the little camera is plugged into port one and the Fat Shark camera is plugged into port three. And then we have a little 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter and my diversity screen at the back. So we can now see live out of one of the cameras. So you can see at the moment, we're looking out the one at the front. And what I've done is I've connected the receiver channel on the FPV switch to the throttle channel on the receiver. So it means that I can move the throttle channel and you'll see it change the camera. So, from the thir first third of the range, we get the first camera. Then through the middle, we get the second camera, which is nothing plugged into. And then I go to the top third range, then I get the other camera. So there we are, we're now looking out the Fat Shark one at the top. And I can flick between the two by moving my throttle up and down. And you can see there's a very slight pause as the system sorts itself out, but it's pretty fast. 
So obviously the way to work it would be to pop this um, onto one of the switches to give you the ability to select a low and high value on the channel. And if you had a three position switch, you can have a low, medium and high position, and that would enable you to use all three cameras. Couple of uh, bits of advice and things to be careful of. Um, I'm actually running both cameras because they're both five volt cameras, and this is a five volt um, uh, UBEC. It's all working off this, so um, be very careful about polarity in particular. The polarity of the plus and minus on the Fat Shark system versus the polarity on the inputs on the FPV switch are switched. So, what I've had to do here is I've not plugged these cameras that would normally go directly into the Fat Shark transmitter into the um, switch directly i've had to make a little adapter cable that actually switch the positive and negative around but if you're careful with that it'll work fine you can look at the transmitter and um the only other thing then is to be careful of the pal and ntsc settings so both of these cameras are running on pal because i'm in here in the uk and that's what all my system's set up for just be aware of that and be careful because as you switch between the two if you have um, ground station equipment that will figure that out and automatically change, great. So some of my Fat Shark stuff is okay with that. But for example, my fly sight, if one of these cameras was um, PAL, so I started flying with that, but the other one was transmitting NTSC, when I flicked across, I wouldn't get the image because the PAL, uh, the setting on the ground station would be PAL and it would just display that rolling snow that you've seen in some of my other videos as I've talked about how you sort that out. So in summary then, get one of these, have a play, fantastic thing from Hobby King for the price and it does mean now that we can add another wing camera or maybe hook up the GoPro to the FPV transmitter and use a spare channel to flip between the two and have a look in flight. So thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and happy flying.